Welcome back to Legendary Tributes, Nidra Beard. Destiny was an American band based in Los Angeles, California, created by producer and solar record label head Dick Griffey and record producer Leon Silvers III. The band was known for their pop numbers during the late 1970s and 80s. Keyboardist Kevin Spencer and vocalist Nidra Beard and Linda Carrier originally comprised the group. Vocalist Nidra Beard died from cancer on December 8th at age 71. Frank Fisk Collini was an American politician and educator. He served on the San Jose City Council as vice mayor and led the Eastside Union High School District as superintendent for over 20 years. Fisk Collini died on December 8 at age 101. Ryan O'Neill was an American actor. Ryan O'Neill died at a hospital in Santa Monica, California, on December 8th at age 82. Paul Webb was an American college basketball coach. He was the head coach at Randolph-Macon College from 1956 to 1975 and at Old Dominion University from 1975 to 1985. Webb died on December 8th at age 94. Frank John Wycheck was an American professional football player who was a tight end in the NFL. Wycheck died on December 9th at the age of 52. Mary Ann Hanley was an American politician. Hanley, a Democrat, served as a member of the Connecticut State Senate from 1997 until her retirement in 2010. Hanley died on December 9th at age 87. Derek Gross Sr., was an American illustrator, writer, editor, and art director. Gross worked at comic book companies, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Chaos, Comics, Image Comics, and Innovation Publishing, primarily in the 1990s. He died on December 8th at age 76. Kale Sane Twitching Tongues is an American metal band from California founded in 2009. The band has released four albums, Sleep Therapy in 2012, In Love There Is No Law in 2013, Disharmony in 2015, and Gaining Purpose Through Passionate Hatred in 2018. Drummer Kale Sane died in December at age 31. James Lawton Robertson was an American judge who was a justice of the Supreme Court of Mississippi from 1983 to 1992. He wrote Heroes, Rascals, and the Law. He taught at the University of Mississippi. He was appointed to the state Supreme Court by Mississippi Governor William Winter. He died on the 10th of December at age 83. Barbara Hotham Igluski was an American microbiologist. She was director of international programs at the University of Rochester Medical Center, where she was a professor of microbiology and immunology. Barbara Igluski died on December 10th at age 85. David A. Drake was an American author of science fiction and fantasy literature, a Vietnam War veteran who had worked as a lawyer before becoming a writer in the military science fiction genre. Drake died on December 10th at age 78. Camden Toy was an American actor and film editor. He had acted in over 100 independent films and several television roles. Toy died from pancreatic cancer on December 11th at age 68. Ezra Mohawk was an American singer-songwriter who recorded a dozen albums. Mohawk died on December 11th at the age of 75. Ken Kelch, ASC was an American cinematographer, teacher, and Vietnam veteran. He was best known for his guerrilla filmmaking style and his career-spanning partnership with cult genre director Abel Ferrara, with whom he made more than 15 films. On December 11th, he died of COVID-19 and pneumonia at age 76. Jeffrey Foskett was an American guitarist and singer best known as a touring and studio musician for Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys since the 1980s. On December 11, Foskett died of anaplastic thyroid cancer at age 67. Andre Keith Brower was an American actor, best known for his roles as Detective Fank Pembleton 
in the NBC police drama series Homicide, Life on the Street, from 1993 to 1999, and Captain Raymond Holt in the Fox NBC police comedy series Brooklyn Nine-Nine, from 2013 to 2021. He won two Primetime Emmy Awards and was nominated for two Golden Globe Awards. Brower died from lung cancer at 61 on December 11th. Lawrence Edward Miggins was an American outfielder and first baseman in Major League Baseball, who played for the St. Louis Cardinals in parts of the 1948 and 1952 seasons. He died in Houston on December 12th at age 98. Bill Burgess was an American college football coach. He served as the head coach for the Jacksonville State University in Jackson, Alabama for 12 seasons from 1985 until 1996, compiling a record of 84, 49, and 4. In 1992, he led his team to a national title, winning the NCAA Division II football championship. Burgess died in Birmingham, Alabama on December 13th at age 82. George F. McGinnis was an American professional basketball player who played 11 seasons in the American Basketball Association and National Basketball Association. He died of heart complications at a hospital in Indianapolis on December 14th at age 73. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.